What is up guys? Today we will be discussing types of credit uh, and the cost and benefits of these different types of credit. So first off, we have revolving credit. Ah, so revolving credit allows you to borrow money against a line of credit, which can be paid back over time with monthly payments. So let me just give you an example of that. A common example of revolving credit are credit cards, credit cards. There are various other types of revolving credit, such as home equity lines of credit and personal lines of credit. So uh, credit cards all come with a limit. So this limit is effectively your line of credit. This is the money on that credit card, which you can spend. So the limit, let's say we have a credit card with limit of dollars 5,000. This means that we can spend $5,000 with this credit card each month. And then we spent, then we spent $1,000. So we spent $1,000 in that month. Now this should be paid back in the first month. You should always have your credit card um, paid off in the first month. So if you have a limit of 5,000 and then you spent 1,000, by the end of the month, you have to pay back that 1,000. But let's say that you know, you're a bit short on cash that month and you only pay back 500. So now on the next month, so we pay back 500. So now on the next month, our limit would be 4,500. And if we don't spend anything, we'll have $500 to pay back, but we'll also have to be paying interest on top of that, plus interest. And these interest rates are generally very high. And we discuss more about this in our revolving versus, um, in our revolving credit costs videos, part one and part two. And we discuss, um, you should also take a look at our APR versus APY videos where we go even deeper into this idea of credit card interest. So anyways, um, that's the way that um, the uh, revolving credit works. And now we also have this a little bit more information here. Usually comes with assigned credit limits. So in this case, this was 5,000 and are subject to finance charges. So finance charges are just the cost to borrow money, cost to borrow money. So that's effectively your interest rate, cost to borrow money, which is um, on credit cards. This interest rate is referred to as your APR. And we have an APR versus APY video and an APR video where we discuss these things. And I highly recommend that you take a look at them. Um, with very high interest rates, yes. Um, interest charges can often be avoided by paying in full each month, yes. You always want to pay your credit card back in full every month. Otherwise, it is not going to be pretty. So the, a big pro is access to a line of credit, right? You have this $5,000. You have access to this credit card limit. In this case, we had our $5,000 line of credit that we could spend, and it's easy to use, right? If I want to buy something from, from say, a shop and I don't have cash on me or I don't have my debit card on me, I don't have to construct a loan, right, like an installment loan or something like that. I can just swipe my credit card and use it. Just swipe. Let me write that. And that's why it's also so easy to overspend with credit cards. You just have to swipe, right? But so always be careful with your spending. And now the cons are high interest rates if not paid back on time, right? We discussed this. And another big con is potential to, to very negatively impact credit score. Um, I want to just discuss a bit more on these two high interest rates if not paid back on time. So this can actually land you into massive debt because, um, and, and we discussed in our revolving credit cost video, we discuss a bit on how um, you can go into massive debt because of this. And in our APR versus APY. Um, Potential to very negatively impact credit score. Um, so basically, you have this thing called a credit score, which is effectively your customer reliability rating. Customer reliability rating. That's effectively what your credit score is. So with better credit scores, you can qualify for better quality loans and things like that. So you always want to have your credit score as good as possible. But if you're not paying back your revolving credit, your credit score will go down. It will go down. And this is not something that we like to see. So anyways, thank you for listening. Uh, I'll discuss more on other type of credit in part two. Um, thank you and goodbye. Hope you this was helpful.